Okay. Oh, I am live. Oh, damn. Hopefully y'all can see me and we give the same beautiful, amazing quality we had in our first live. I'm gonna just wait for the comments to come in. Okay, the comments are in. Cute. Okay. I don't know what that first situation was all about. Um, and I definitely saw that comment where somebody was like, you make enough money to get better Wi-Fi. Shut up. Like, just shut up. Because I can't control what the Wi-Fi is like in my area. That literally has nothing to do with me. And yeah, I spent a lot of money on Wi-Fi and it still don't work. So anyway, welcome back. We are going to be going over, thank God. Okay, quality's good. Good. If there is an echo, unfortunately i can't i cannot change that i'm using the mic that connects to the to my computer so um i've never live streamed on my camera before so i need to i need to just buy a mic that usb plugs into my computer i've never used anything like that before um cut me some slack y'all like beauty i'm not like an audio visual person i mean sorry i'm not like a tech person i know pretty much the basics and i feel like i'm already given like better quality than what most streamers give so Cut me some slack, smart ass comments will just be blocked and deleted. I'll just leave it at that. Cause girl, like I'm just here trying to like chat and have fun. And I just wanted to go through some of the stuff that I got for my Sephora VIB sale. Cause everybody was like, what do I get? What do I get? And um, one thing I definitely wanna be more mindful of whenever I talk about products is I'm not telling you, you have to run out and buy all of this stuff. It's just stuff that like I wanted to get or stuff that like I already liked and I wanted to replenish. I definitely don't want y'all to feel like I'm telling you or pressuring you to purchase these things. That's not at all what I'm doing at all. Please use this as a guideline and use your own judgment when it comes to buying products. But girl, I went in, girl, like I bought a lot of stuff because a lot of people would be like, why do you still buy makeup? And I'm like, because it's my job, period. But anyway, so I got some, like I said, some replenishments. I got a new Aqua Bomb makeup removing cleansing bomb. This is actually becoming one of my favorite like pre-cleanse bombs. It smells really good. Wait, is this the one that smells good? Hold on. Let me, before I say something else. I just really like how silky and smooth this one feels. Yeah, it does. It's a really light, like, I almost feel like this is like a naturally occurring scent. It doesn't smell like there's fragrance, but don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. Haven't read the ingredients list, but yeah, this is from Belief. It's their Aqua Bomb Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This lasts me a very long time. Like for somebody who pre-cleanses almost every single night, I'd say it probably lasts me like four months, five months. I mean, I feel like that's pretty good, right? Like I feel like that's pretty good. Um, Yeah, they do have a cleansing balm and it's really, like one thing we need to make very clear is Cleansing balms, cleansing oils are not all made the same. Some of them are more watery. Some of them are thicker. Some of them have a little bit more of like a tingle to the, like, I don't know. They're not all one size fits all. This one for me is slowly kind of just rising up the rank squirrel. Like I really, really, really like this cleansing balm. Every time I just melt it. I remember, do y'all, I remember like back in the day, like, I shouldn't even say back in the day, but like three years ago, it was so foreign to me. The first ever cleansing oil, makeup removing cleansing oil I ever tried was I think the one from Basha. And I used to really like that product. And I remember being like, I have to just rub an oil on my face to remove makeup. That's weird. And now I could not imagine ever not using a cleansing balm because they're so like, it's such a, a big part of my routine now. I don't know, is it just me? Was was that like an adjustment for y'all too? It was definitely an adjustment for me because when you use a cleansing balm, you're adding this on dry skin and you rub it in and then like the makeup is just everywhere, girl. It's it's a lot. But um, I really like this one. I really do actually like this one. And you know what? While we talk, I'm gonna go on the Sephora website and pull up some of this stuff so we can like get down to the nitty gritty about like what I'm gonna be talking about because I bought a... I actually could not resist because this one was front and center, like right around the, um, you know, little checkout area. Okay, so I bought this replica discovery set. Now I've so far tried by the fireplace. I really bought the set so that I could get a mini of by the fireplace, which is honestly really like, 
toasted, woodsy. There's definitely some vanilla in there, maybe some amber. If you like, and it literally makes you like feel like you're by a fireplace. Mm. This one smells, this is a fragrance discovery set, by the way, if you're just joining. So let me just read off like what they describe this one as because, okay. By the fireplace, warm and spicy, it's definitely spicy. It's evokes the comforting sensation of a crackling fireplace beside a frosted winter landscape and enveloping notes of clove, chestnut, and vanilla accord. Woo! It smells so, it smells so good. But as we move into like spring, summer, probably not the most seasonal. I still, I, I, I will still wear it, but I don't think it's really the most like appropriate for the season. Like we're starting to move into like floral season, spring season, citrusy, right? I, I definitely save, ah, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I tried to take it out of this freaking packaging and it started spilling. Okay, I have Sailing Day and I already knew this wasn't gonna work for me. But the next one from the set, the, um, set is Sailing Day and it's just pure aquatic. It doesn't say any of what's inside of it, any of the notes, but it's just pure aquatic. I don't really like that kind of stuff. Um, those are kind of manly to me, kind of masculine, which is fine, but like I just don't, I don't know. This makes this bores me. Aquatic sense just bore me. Like it just reminds me of being at the ocean. Like am I the only person who could like, no, I'm not in New York. I'm not in New York, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at home. I would never have a setup like this in New York. <laughs> I'm at home, I don't know. Why else I'm thinking I'm in New York? Okay, so um, every time I smell like aquatic scents, I feel like it's just a little too beachy for me. And um, I'm not a big, like I hate to say this because I, I am a beach person, but I'm not. Like I'm a California girl, but I'm also not. Do you get what I mean? I like having, pro I like being in close proximity to beach communities, but I don't really like, going to the beach like that like i'm just i don't i don't like boats i don't like yachts so fragrance for me is all about like how i feel where it takes me when i'm smelling it and so if i smell something that reminds me of the ocean i don't really it's like my least favorite thing i don't know everybody's saying it's glitching i hope it comes back to a place where it can get better but i, I don't know how to fix that okay anyway i'm gonna just keep going i, I don't know how y'all can fix the refreshing anyway okay so the next one that's in this set is lazy sunday morning oh no not again come on don't be stupid youtube like why are you being so dumb oh my god i'm so freaking over it i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying to just make sure everything is perfect it's not easy yeah, I don't know, guys. I really don't know what to do. Okay. Everybody's saying, everybody's saying it's back now. I'm back, right? <laughs> okay. Um. Why are people being so mean in the comments? You know what? People attempt to be YouTubers for five minutes and then they get in the comments acting like they the judge and the jury. Girl, this is not easy. And I'm just here to have fun. So if something is glitching and, and itching, I don't know how, I really don't know how to fix it. This live stream stuff is new to me, y'all. Y'all gonna have to work with me. But anyway, the next one that I have is Lazy Sunday Morning. Okay, the comments are moving faster, so I'm assuming everything's good. Lazy Sunday Morning, this is also kind of aquatic to me. Or fresh, it's like fresh aquatic. It's described, why is it not saying what this one is described? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong damn list. Hold on, let me find the other discovery set so I can find the actual description. Do y'all like Replica? I remember for smelling them for the first time and like not being that wowed, but I do like By the Fireplace. That's, it's bomb. Okay, so this one is actually Floral, Lily of the Valley, Iris, and White Musk. You know what? <laughs> I think because I spilled yeah, it's on my fingers because I spilled the first one. It's actually on my hands and I'm smelling that. Let me switch my hands. What house is this? I don't get it. It's my same setup. Oh, and I'm burning my candles, by the way. I'm burning, I think I'm burning Sweet Spot. I think so. 
Okay, so I just smelled Lazy Sunday Morning. I like this. It's it's cool. It's probably not the kind of floral that I would gravitate towards, but I would definitely try it. Um, if you just if I if I see any weird comments, you're just gonna get hidden from the chat. Like I don't know why people are doing all what they're doing. Okay, Jazz Club. I've never smelled Jazz Club. It's the same color as by the fireplace. So I'm gonna assume, okay, what would I think of when I smell a jazz club? Maybe like bourbon, maybe like something a little heavy, musky, sort of masculine. Okay, so what does this smell like? Let me switch hands, actually. Oh, okay. Sweet notes of open cigar boxes, old leather bar stools. It is a little leathery, definitely on the masculine side. Fine aged liquor. Okay, did not say bourbon. Okay, so the notes are pink pepper, love pink pepper, rum absolute, tobacco leaf absolute. That's what's up. I just recently learned what absolute means. It it has to do with like how they extract the fragrance. And I guess when they do it in a way that is like through gas or something, if I remember correctly, I don't know. But I just learned that recently. I thought that was cool. Okay, so the last one I'm gonna have is Beach Walk. Oh, great. Another beach inspired scent, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Let me make sure I do it on this hand. I know, old leather bar stool sounds disgusting, but it's, it's actually not bad. Like, I feel like I could wear by the fireplace because it's a little bit more feminine, and then I would probably put Jazz Club on Dennis. And can we talk about how colognes are like at the lowest perfume they're like at the lowest fragrance con uh, content compared to like eau de toilettes and other parfums so why do we even make like why do we even bother with colognes they don't last as long i think it's somewhere to like five to ten percent okay this one is this one's nice beach walk smells to me a little bit more floral more than it does aquatic it's not aquatic at all Let me see what it's described as. Okay, so it's described as, oh, fresh florals, bergamot, heliotrope, coconut milk. Cute. I do love coconut. All right, lower the quality to 480p and the lag will stop or lessen. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, suggesting that, Winter. Thank you. Okay, so Beach Walk was cute, but honestly, By the Fireplace still is definitely the, mo the most me out of all of these. And I would get I get the most wear out of this one. The other ones are nice. I probably like, you know, when you buy something and you're like, I don't want to take it back. I have it, so I might as well use it. What I do in those cases is I just layer them with other stuff, so that I I, I still get to use it, right? And I just like minis. I like minis. I really like when companies give discovery sets because you can like try more than one. You don't have to buy the full size. Yes, I I still like a bargain. I still like to save money. Okay, so I had to re-up on my rose toner. I really, really like this toner. I actually used to prefer the one that is, did I get the same one? Oh my God, I'm so crazy. I'm just talking about how this isn't the one I prefer anymore. I really like this toner, but lately I've been using the spray just because it's easier, faster. I don't got to worry about having, you know, cotton pads with me when I travel. It's just the most user-friendly, but I do still really, really love this toner for during the day. It's one of my favorites. It's super gentle. I like the way it looks. It's very Instagrammable. Like, you know, the girls love the gram skincare aesthetic. Da, 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 da. I'm so aesthetic. I'm so aesthetic. Um, Sweet and fruity. I mean, I can talk about sweet and fruity perfumes. Someone asked for a suggestion. I could talk about sweet and fruity all day. It really just depends on, I don't I don't know. I don't know, where can we start? I have like, I probably have like over 70 now. Remember when I told y'all, do y'all remember I told y'all I wanted to try 100 new perfumes in the next year? So it's now month three, Um, no, month four. Month four and I'm already at like, I'm already at like a good 55, something like that, probably even more. I was hoping that with this discovery set, I was going to find new stuff that I could buy full size, but all right, no, there's nothing there that I need. I don't know. I don't really like Gucci Bloom. I don't even know if I would call Gucci Bloom fruity. 
mean, I really like, what can I say is true? I really like Guerlain perfumes. They have um, Mom Guerlain, which is more floral than it is fruity. Um, and it also depends on what kind of fruit you like, right? Because Tom Ford Bitter Peach, I feel like Bitter Peach is either you really like it or you don't like it at all. I love Bitter Peach. It smells incredible. I got one of the Danessa Myricks Dew Wet Balm. I don't know what happened to these because I had these and I had to rebuy. And this was actually supposed to be for a video. So you guys can let me know what you think. But you know how when you go into Sephora and they have the next big, next big thing, I actually wanted to do a full video, like a full face of like next big thing products. So a lot of those products are products I'm gonna unbox for you today. And I think that's why I ended up spending so much money. But this is supposed to be like a almost clear-ish with a little bit of shimmer, clear-ish balm that you can use to like enhance the shine on the skin, add a little glow. I don't remember these really having much color. Yeah, this does not have any color. It has no color at all. But when you look at it, you would think it probably is like a highlight. It's actually not. It's just like a clear balm. So I got that. I can never not use the Fresh Sugar Lip Wonder Drops. This is probably like one of the few videos that I'm gonna say out of this entire live stream because I don't like telling people you have to have it because then people, I think, take that too literally. And as an influencer, I'm just trying to be more, I try to constantly, now more than ever, I try to constantly be more mindful of like how I speak about products that I like because I've come to realize that people are very like, I don't know how to say this, but it's like they won't do research on the product at all. They'll just buy it because I said I liked it. And then if it doesn't work for them, they get really upset. So I don't want to be that influential. Like I always want to give you guys the information. I always want to explain why I like a product. And then you make that choice on your own so that, you know, you can say, oh, this sounds like something that's right up my alley. I want to buy it. Do you get what I mean? But sh sugar lip wonder drops, baby. <gasps> baby it's the way my lips be dry this is like this is basically like a chemical exfoliant for your lips and it changed my life it really has changed my life um yes people can absorb a lot and sometimes they don't they just buy they just buy 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 and that's just like a lot of pre that's a lot of pressure and I know it sounds easy you're like okay well what do you expect you're an influencer I get it trust me I do but I want to I want y'all to be like informed consumers. I want y'all to be smart consumers. Do you get what I mean? But anyway, I do really really like the sugar lip wonder drops. I have like a scar on this side of my lip and I notice that whenever I stop using this, which is probably a good and a bad thing, whenever I stop using this, the scar starts to like show more. It really does keep the um smoothness on my lips like constant all the time. And I like using this with physical lip scrubs because I just like I really still like lip scrubs. I probably always use them, but this to me is good for like maintaining. It's amazing. Yeah, if you have crusty lips, get you this. You still need to scrub the crust off, but to maintain it, bomb. Bomb! Okay, let's go to comments. Um, Everybody's saying that I should do, what the hell is that? Everybody is, um, yeah, you, you have to be very careful. Everybody's saying that I should do this membership thing. Do y'all think it's worth it? I don't really know what that means. I know that people, yeah, I have tried Aaron, Aaron fragrances. I actually have tried them. Um, let me know what you guys think about the whole membership thing because I watch a lot of people who live stream and I never really, like I knew that people can like be super chats. Like I don't really know what that means. So let me know if y'all think it's worth doing. Next thing I got was something else from Danessa, her power bronzer. This is a product that I actually already use. So I have like an area in my house where I get ready and then I have an area in my office where I film these videos for you guys. Sometimes I find that I end up buying doubles of things because the stuff that I want to use in a video may not be in reach because it's in my getting ready area. Does that make sense? So I just bought another one of these because it's currently in my getting ready area. So when I film, I don't, you don't actually see me using this product, which honestly, speaks to another thing. Sometimes there will be products that you'll be like, 
you know, maybe it'll be like a sponsored video and someone may say, oh, well, I've never seen it on your channel. And I think people underestimate like how much product I really do use and get to know that I, you never literally see it. Never make the light of day on Instagram, Twitter, or video. It's very possible. So yes, okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks very red. It's really not that red when you apply it. Um, but this is probably like one of my favorite cream bronzer products. It's so deep and rich and it lasts you a long time. You get so much product, like girl, look. Yeah, I don't know what super chats mean. I don't I don't know what that means. People are saying I was wondering why girl, I was wondering why I couldn't send money. You you don't have to send me no money. Okay, so I wanted to try actually Alyssa convinced me to get this. And then what's going on with Marc Jacobs girl? Like are they going are they going under cuz I noticed like everything was like 30% off and I haven't even uttered <laughs> Marc Jacobs products on my channel in years um because they definitely tried it but you know it is what it is like if i had to literally if i had to i would i would not be making videos period if i had to avoid every brand i've criticized at some point so i just saw that everything was on sale and Alyssa actually really liked this product so i was like i'll try it why not it's like a it's supposed to be like a foundation and concealer in one and I got a highlight color because I didn't know if I was going to like it. Um, oh, okay. The Plastic Boy Stay Show Me Love. I, I, isn't it past your bedtime, Gary? Oh, my God. Oh, this came out a month ago? Damn, that's... Damn. Y'all roasting him in the comments. Well, I, I've never seen this product before. Truthfully, I don't really check for Marc Jacobs like that anymore. But Alyssa talked about it and I was like, ooh, well, I'm not gonna say no to concealer. So yeah. Um, okay, so I'm trying to read the comments, but the comments move so fast, y'all. Anyway, oh, wow, why did I lie? I got two of them. I got the color to highlight tan, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a sucker for concealers that have this big, like it almost looks like a mini foundation. I don't know why, but these be the ones that snap. I'm just saying. I think it's, I think it'd be the applicators, like the big spongy applicators. Like I feel like they try to replicate the shape tape. I think this is like the shape tape print, even though I didn't really like shape tape all that much. I'll be very honest. I really was like, why are y'all pissing your pants over this concealer? It's cute, but it's not the moment you think it is. But anyway, so I got the color. I got two of the same color. No, wait, now why does this say tan? Oh, I did it, I'm lying. Okay, this is tan 340 and this is tan 390. So girl, how light is this one? I go really light and then I put like a skin tone shade on top of it. So I bought two of the lightest colors. I really do not need them. Okay, so Bum Bum Cream, y'all know Sol de Janeiro. They make a hand sanitizer and it's actually really good. Like it smells like the Bum Bum Cream. I love using this in my office and I like the fact that it sprays because then I don't have to worry about it like slipping and sliding all over my hands. If anything, I just like the smell. Ugh, smells so good. Check out the hand sanitizer. It's really good. Really, really good. Especially when you have like guests. You're like, hold on, stop. Hands out. Okay, proceed. And I don't know about y'all, but handshakes are permanently canceled. I don't know what you've been wiping, swiping, touching, sniffing. Handshakes are indefinitely, permanently canceled. Do not touch me. Like, ew. Look, it's one of the few things COVID changed for the better. And hopefully we can keep the same energy. Because girl, if I'm standing in line at Target and you in front of me, there's no reason why I should still smell your breath. Okay, six feet. All right, so the next thing I wanna try was this brand, this brand just has cute stuff. It's called Herbivore. And what's sticky, the Bum Bum Cream? No, not the Bum Bum, the Bum Bum Cream is not sticky unless y'all talking about something else. But anyway, okay, this brand is just cute. Like, you know when you just see something you're like, oh, it's so cute. I always see this brand and I always just walk, scroll right on past, scroll right on past, like there's nothing here for me. We good, we good, we see each other, but we good. 
And I was finally like, I mean, I guess I can give it a shot. They have this 20% AHA and 5% BHA exfoliating glow facial. I'm guessing this is like a mask. I just really like the way that it looked. And I don't know if I've heard anybody say anything about this product. I just, very superficial of me. I purely bought it because it was pretty. So that's really all I can say about that. <laughs> but you know, I mean, you, you kind of can't go wrong. Hopefully it's not super, super strong on my, why? Yeah, it's basically like an exfoliating treatment. Let me see if I can read any of it. It's very watery. That's why they have this lid. Like I tried to open it and this thing, they don't even give you like a little lifter to take it out. Yeah, I feel like it's just branding too. That's how I feel. I feel like they just have really, it's kind of gives me like a glow recipe, except glow recipe actually has good products and they have a lot of like actives and exfoliants. Um, okay, so let's read. Treat your skin to a weekly at-home facial experience powered by a potent blend of fruit-based 20% AHA and 5% BHA to keep the skin looking radiant and fresh. You know, the girls are loving, like, I feel like now you all you have to do is like create a brand and make it pink or make it like aesthetically pleasing and the girls will eat it, eat it up. Um, okay, so there's sugar cane, glycolic acid, bilberry, lactic acid, sugar maple, malic acid, tartaric acid, orange and lemon citric acid, willow bark extract B. That's a lot of acids, babe. So you're supposed to leave it on for like 20 minutes after you wash your face. For sensitive skin types, leave on for five to 10 and it will probably tingle because it is, it does have a lot of actives. So that's what to be, that's what's to be expected. And then I am a creature of habit. I bought the Bum Bum Scrub because I'm gonna be honest with you, it just smells really good. It smells really good. And I do like the scrub itself. But like with me, I like to layer my products. So when I'm wearing the Bum Bum perfume, I'll do the scrub, I'll do the lotion, I'll do the body wash. And I'm gonna just try to see if I can show y'all what it looks like. Now nah, they could have filled it up all the way to the top though because they, they, they could have filled it up all the way to the top. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, y'all talking about the lag again? Yeah, but just because the mask has a lot of acids, it doesn't mean that it's super strong. It just means it's very active. Okay, that's the first bag. Bag number two. I think this was more the Discover set, the new, new stuff that I wanted to try. So I bought, y'all gonna drag me. Even though I've already done this on my channel before, I have the whole black girl, dark skin girl tanning thing, the at-home tanner. So I wanted to try this Isle of Paradise. It's a self-tanning kit. And it's supposed to be like an at-home tanning kit. And the color is Golden Glow. So the last time I did this, I think it was Vita Liberata. And it was like a, a not a spray tan, it was like a lotion that you put the glove on, da 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 and you wash it off your Gucci. So I wanted to try this because I think this is like a shade up from that because the Vita Liberata actually worked and it worked really well, but I feel like it made me a little too red. So this is supposed to be golden. So I wanted to try it. Hopefully it'll actually show up on my skin tone. But yeah, self tanner does work on dark skin. It makes everything like even. It makes, it's almost like, it's, think of it like body makeup before your body. Yeah, body makeup. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do about the lag, y'all. I don't, I don't know if that's me. The tan Lux drops is it from the same brand, Gary? Because yeah, black dark skin tanning, tanning on dark skin is yeah. I, I don't if y'all are if y'all are lagging. I don't think that's me this time because YouTube says the chat is is good, but yes, so. Self tanner for dark skin girls. Okay, it's the same thing. Well, Raven Simone is like four shades lighter than me, so it makes sense that she would tan. But when your skin is dark, you don't realize like all of the same problems that everybody else uses self tanner for. We we have that too. You don't. We don't like. I don't tan to get darker. I tan for even complexions or like for photos. It's just, it's just a cute moment. Okay, so I bought this makeup eraser sponge. I don't know why it's, wait, can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? 
That was weird. I don't know what just happened. I think my camera literally just cut off. Oh, snap. I think I know why. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, Tan Lux. Gary is telling me Tan Lux. Try the Tan Lux. Is that like a British thing? Tan Lux drops. Okay, Gary, what color should I get? Oh, this is like a brand from Nordstrom. And Ulta sells it too. Okay, I'm gonna check out Tan Lux. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Because I didn't know if that was supposed to, like, I didn't know if the drops worked on my skin tone. Or did I have to actually use like a body lotion that's brown to actually work on my skin tone? But anyway, I bought this sponge from Makeup Eraser and it's supposed to be rewashable. I don't know why, but you know Makeup Eraser, they used to make those, um, they have this product that was like a one, so one fit, a one wipe situation, a makeup remover. So now they have like a sponge. Oh, it's really soft. If stop the stop the chat, I think you have to refresh if it lags on your end. Yes, of course, I know perfume smell different on the skin, but I still gotta like it when I smell it. You know, someone tell me Jazz Club, don't underestimate it. Yeah, I'm sure. It's all right. It's all right. I'm I'm not that. I have plenty that I really love. I think Jazz Club was okay. It was just a little like. And plus, I wear so much perfume that it's like. This reminds me of something that I've tried before and I didn't like that, so. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know why this sponge has so much presentation. Can I stream on Twitch? Y'all, what is the deal with Twitch? Like, are the makeup girls welcome on Twitch? Is it only for gamers? Like, should I be in tune? Should I be in the know? Should I be on Discord? I don't know what Discord is, but do I need to like investigate? Do I need to, do I need to know? Cause you know, I'm like trying to branch out, try different things. Let me know your thoughts, thoughts and prayers. Um, but this sponge feels really soft. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really soft. I'm not gonna do that. It feels really good. I threw it because the bag is right there. The, the box was empty. Okay, every skincare snob raves about youth to the people. And I haven't tried a single product from them. The reason why, I'm not gonna lie, the reason why I really haven't tried any of their stuff is because it's not pretty. And I know that sounds really shallow, but nothing ever like really gravitated towards me. And my, mind you, ooh, that was close. Mind you, the reason why I say that is because like a lot of the skincare stuff I buy are like wants, not needs. Like I really, I really have the regimen that I'm happy with. So if I buy anything else, it has to really be something that I, really want do you get what i mean or just like eh, i'll try it something to play with um text thread on discord would hit what does that mean yeah these comments are going fast how do y'all think i feel i'm the one trying to stream and read the comments oh that's the one i bought i bought the overnight mask i think no well it's the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask I think this is actually supposed to be pretty much the same thing as the herbivore prison mask. Is it a night cream or is it actually like a rinse off mask? Oh, it smells nice. Discord is where you can post a pic and do voice chat and screen and stream people in the discord. It would be like a black makeup alley. That's the that's the last thing I want to do is be like a makeup alley. Um, okay, let me try to like read the description. It's an overnight mask. Okay, so yes, we're talking about the same mask. Um, apply at night to freshly cleansed skin. Okay, cool. So it's a sleeping mask, and it's probably. Oh, I don't think this is exfoliating. I think this is just hydrating. Let me see. Let me get the tea. Super berry, hydrate, and glow. Because when you say glow, I think of like expo. Girl, this is Ulta. Um, there we go. 
All right, so can you load, please? I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna come back to that. I can't believe I got this much stuff. Like, I got so much stuff. Yeah, it's good, creamy, and thick. You, I like the results of overnight masks, but I can't get over the texture. What's wrong with the texture? To me, it just looks like a, it just looks like a regular moisturizer. But to me, this is the kind of stuff that I picture in like someone's New York City bathroom and I'm not that girl. Like I want the products to look pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the texture's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I don't have a problem with this texture. It just feels like a moist, it just feels like a, a cream, just like any cream moisturizer. Thank you. No, I don't have any JLo Beauty in the bag. I don't. I do have the collection, but I don't, I didn't buy, I didn't, I don't have it in this bag. Twitch is like Twitter, but you get paid when people engage with your content. Okay. No, no shade to New York, but you know what I mean? Like the aesthetic is just different. It's just minimalist. It's very like no bells and whistles. I mean, I feel like you can still make a performing product that looks pretty. Personally, it does feel really hydrating. I put it on the back of my hands. Feels good. My PO box is not public. I'm so sorry, but it's not public. JLo Beauty Olive Oil. I don't, is that a, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the sale ends Monday if you're just joining us. That's the reason why I wanted to do this today because I know sometimes people like to see, like I like seeing what other people are buying. Okay, so what else did I get? Okay, so also on the what's new at Sephora, remember I told you guys I was gonna do a full face of what's new at Sephora. I picked up one of the Patrick Ta blushes, or was it a bronzer? Cream and powder blush, cream and powder blush? Does that mean both? Oh girl, now I'm moisturized, my hands are slipping. Oh my God. Yeah, but damn Jackie, damn what? What happened? A little discord. I'll make a Discord account and server and send the account info to Jackie. Um, I can't open this. Not rest in peace gamers. Why y'all say that? Because I bought this stuff. The reason why I'm like, oh, there we go. Okay, so, oh yeah, it is. So there's like a powder on the bottom and then there's the color that I use is Do We Know Her? This is a little on the light side though, and it looks even more light on camera. And then the top is an actual cream. Actually, it's kind of similar to what I have on now. My, my live stream quality is nice because I'm on the camera that I film my videos with, which is a very complicated process. So if anything <laughs> lags or if stuff starts to crip walk on your screen, I'm doing my best y'all. Um, the foundation that I'm wearing today, I mixed NARS Sheer Glow with their Soft Matte Complete, the new one that they came out with, which is really, really good. But sometimes during the day, it's like a lot, so I like to mix it with Sheer Glow, so I literally get some glow, because I like a little glow. I like a little skin. Okay, I picked up another Dominique Cosmetics. They collabed with JD Wadey, my girls, and they came out with like a facial mist. And I don't know if this was supposed to be a skincare product or an aftercare product, like a makeup prep. It smells good. It smells very like eucalyptus. So it's it says it can be used to prep face, set makeup, or refresh or hydrate. It smells really, really good. And honestly, when it comes to skincare and ingredients, there are very few like non-black, and I'm just gonna be very blunt, there are very few like non-black professionals when it comes to skincare because I find that the stuff, like their inform their information is not always that helpful, but Jade, she really knows her stuff. She really does. And she's given me a lot of really helpful advice. Um, you guys know I love Finia, but I can't always reach Finia. And like Jade's my friend, so sometimes we'll just talk about skincare. Um, I picked up the Fenty Eavesdrops because everyone that's, that's been asking me about reviewing this product, 
I didn't get it in PR and then I went in store to pick up my shade and they didn't have it. So just to say I had something, I picked up shade 17 and in the store, I knew it was not gonna work, but I picked it up just to say I had it. You know, when I do reviews, I do like to do comparisons and I do like to show you guys like what range looks like, but I still can't film this because 17 is definitely not my shade. It's not even close to my shade. I did, however, was I was able to find the shade that I think is gonna be my shade on the Fenty website, so I'm having that overnighted because I wanna actually try the product. A lot of people are saying really good things about the product. So if you're wondering why it hasn't arrived, that is why I never got an NPR for some reason. And actually a lot of people that I follow, now why you spell my name Jackie like that? A lot of people like, I don't think Alyssa got it. I'm not sure if Nima got it, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened with that launch. Um, oh, that's good. Vitamin C products, that's amazing. So I bought another, um, Girl, not who texted me. You know I'm filming. Perfect. Okay. So I got another Patrick Ta product. This is a lipstick. The shade is She's Not From Here, and it just looked really pretty. It's like a bright. I rem I miss matte, deep orange. Like, I miss that phase. I think I'm just going to bring that back because I miss a deep matte orange lipstick. There's no smell though. Can y'all please put put smells back in our lipsticks? I just thought this was pretty and I thought it would coordinate with the blush. And I really wanna feature this brand for next big thing. I also really wanna do a full face of Asian beauty brands. And that includes South Asian as well. So tweet me if there's any you want me to talk about. Um, and then, oh, I got a lot of Patrick Top products. Let me see if this one's dark enough. This is their lip pencil. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen where you click it to activate. Ooh, that color is really pretty. And that's really creamy. The color is, oh, she's single. You probably can't see it, huh? It's right here, right here. Can y'all see that? Okay. Period. What it do, Northern Ireland? Mac face and body. Um is old school, super old school. Yeah, I mean, everybody who talk, everybody who worked at MAC at some point is face and body. It's pretty cool. I got another Sugar Lip Wonder Drops because I don't like running out of these. So I have my backup from, in fact, I think I have like two more that I still need to use. Um, Wait, did someone mention henna? Tower 28 bronzers, do they run dark enough? Yeah. This does remind me of cork. You know, every brown girl needs a cork. Every brown girl needs a cork. What Pat, what Pat McGrath item do you recommend to purchase? I've done so many reviews and videos and demos on Pat McGrath. Um, definitely check those out because I really, really like the brand. Okay, so I was just drawn to this because it's pretty. It is the Glow Your Own Way face roller. I don't even know what the hell this is. And you know, they don't let you use the testers no more at Sephora, but even if they could, I would not have used this in the tester girl because this is a roller ball and we not transferring bacteria over here, but it's supposed to be like a, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I just talk because it looks pretty. Why do they not make this smell good? That's so annoying. Oh, it's dripping. Ew. Oh my God. It's like dripping. Ew. What is no, this is making me mad. It's just straight water. Like, what is this? I shook it up and everything. Wait, I don't get it. Why is everybody mentioning henna? Is there something I missed? What the hell is this? Let me look this up because now I'm... Now I'm panicking. I'm about to lose me job. Hold on. Like, why? Just, just, just please hold while I transfer your call. No, I'm really mad because this thing is a freaking rollerball and it's hella watery. Like, what the heck? Glow your own way. Oh, it's a facial roller. Okay, but what the hell does it do? It's a cooling and calming. It's a cooling and calming rose quartz facial roller that creates a sun-kissed, visibly glossy glow on your skin. 
All right. Cool. Oh, you guys are talking about henna with makeup. South Asian makeup. Got it. Well, I can't do henna. But I am thinking about doing a Nigerian bridal tutorial. So I'd probably incorporate henna into something like that. This is supposed to be like for the face, like a skincare. And it's supposed to be like a glowy. It's just like a little too watery. I'm still going to try it though. Because on my hand, I don't think that was a good enough. Every time I open it, it drips out. This quality control, where are you? Okay, we need to do some quality control. It's cute though, I'm not gonna lie, it's really pretty. I still wanna try it, I just feel like you need to be like prepared. And I still see, I've shaken this quite a few times, I still see a lot of separation here. Like the, the glowy part keeps separating. Okay, well, I am not quick to dismiss products. I actually like to try things, so I'm gonna try that product out, even though it is messy and annoying. And you never know, it might end up being a really good product. Okay, so I got another You To The People product. And this is the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. Now this is supposed to be an actual exfoliant. I think that's why I got confused about the other thing. This just looks, oh, it smells good. It has like a seaweed kind of, it smells like a sushi. Um. um okay, I don't know why y'all keep talking about the internet like, we move, we move past that. Got any blush in that bag? Yeah, I do. The Patrick Ta blush. We already, I, by the way, I'm gonna save this live. So if you miss anything, you're just joining us, don't trip. I got you. I'm gonna save it, of course. Um, okay, so this is a pro grade vegan instant microderm abrasion enzyme. Oh, that's what I'm gonna try. I love enzyme masks. I love enzyme masks. Finya always does a lot of enzyme treatments whenever I do peels and stuff. Um, okay, so it has bamboo in it, passion and dragon fruit extracts. It's a microdermabrasion facial, breaks down dead skin cells with active enzymes, papain and bromelain, while sustainable microexfoliants, bamboo, and I'm not going to attempt to read that, earth smooth skin texture amplified by highly caffeinated extracts, yerba mate and gai, gaiusa. This two minute facial energizes and invigorates, instantly retexturizes radiant skin in just one use. You know what? I like the direction we're going with these kind of products because I remember when Exfolicate first came out and like, it, at least it was new to me. It was the first time I've ever seen like a mainstream product like that. And it's great. It's like an at-home facial, you know, kind of basically does the same thing. Okay, so why do I feel like I heard um, Here for the Tea talking about this? Am I wrong? Do y'all follow Here for the Tea? This rich biatch cactus vitamin C moisturizer, the light yet ultra rich moisturizer of your dreams, morning and night, pat a small amount between fingertips and press into cleansed skin. Don't forget to pair with so jelly. Did I get so jelly? I don't think I did. Oops. But anyway, yeah, um, packaging is terrible. Dang, what happened? Why y'all still talking about JLo? And y'all drag, ooh, let me, let me. Okay. Well, yeah, I kind of don't want to try this yet because I'm saving this for my video, my next big thing, because this was a, this was another next big thing product. And the brand is called Freck Beauty. So it's just a moisturizer. I don't know why people love it, but. The reason why I haven't done a full face of Korean makeup, y'all, is the same thing I've been saying for years. Like, where's the dark products? <laughs> Where's the dark products? They don't exist. There may be one or two, but. <sighs> okay, so you tried the Rich Biatch and the So Jelly. I thought I got the So Jelly, but I guess I didn't. I did get the Cheek Tints because I thought this was going to be really cute. And I like the color. Let me not even mess with that because if I stain this damn outfit, I'm going to be so freaking mad. But the color, look how cute this is, y'all. It looks like a little drop. It looks like a little water drop. It's so cute. The Sephora sale ends on Monday. And the, this is not a sponsored video, but I did put a Sephora link. So if you want to shop directly from that link, it is an uh, affiliate link. So I do get a small commission, but it's not, this isn't sponsored by Sephora. I just want to do this video and hang out with y'all. So I bought this Cheek Slime Lip and Cheek Tint. So this is kind of like a multi-use multi, multi -use, um, product. Which I, I like products like that where it's like eyes, lips, cheeks, body, whatever. Cute. You can like put it in your bag to go. When things start to wear off throughout the day, you can just reapply with this. 
So once again, this I'm going to be including this in my full face, possible full face of next big thing. Oh my God. Another Lip Wonder Drops. I love that product, clearly. And then I got, oh, I got another Patrick's Hot Lipstick. Okay. What packaging is cheap looking? Um, I, I don't think this is cheap looking. I just think it's cute, but I don't think it looks cheap. Okay, so the lipstick that I got, the other lipstick that I got from Patrick Ta was kind of giving like peachy, peachy nude. So this is Oshi Single. Let me just watch this one. Oh, that's cute. Oh. oh, that's really pretty. That's like a deep, rich, not deep, but you know, it's like a darker peach. Um, was that it? Okay, so let me just wipe that off. And then there's one more product in there that was actually confusing, but I was intrigued because if I read this correctly, this is like a freckle makeup. Like, this is... All right, okay, we're there. We're, as a society, we're there. It's literally freckle makeup. I mean, it's cute. Let me not judge. I just thought it was kind of funny because it was just like, uh, is this actually what I think it is? It's faux freckle makeup. It's like an actual freckle applicator. I think it's cute. The shade that I got was, because they had like a dark shade and they had a regular and they had a dark shade. Well, I don't know, girl, but it's just the dark orange packaging. Freck Noir, is that what it's called? The color? Okay, well, oh yeah, Freck Noir. That's what it says, Freck Noir. So it's supposed to be like a freckle. Cute. I don't know how to use this yet. I didn't even know this existed. I just saw it and I was like, okay, well, all right. But um, yeah, I guess people are still doing the fake freckle thing. I mean, like, I'm not mad at it. It's corny, yeah, but look, makeup is definitely like, when you're wearing makeup, you want to like live vicariously through someone else. Unless you're doing blackface, don't do that. Live vicariously through the back of my foot if you're doing blackface. But um, I thought that was really cute for a video. But yeah, so girl, that's why I bought the product. Like I, I literally said that's why I bought the product. Um, why does it keep blocking this comment? Um, okay, so, oh, that's good to know. I'll check that out for sure. This K-Beauty brand that you guys are checking out. Freck is really good for Freck. Gary, you know all the tea on these products. Okay, Gary. Um, I have not tried Good Molecules products. Yeah, the faux freckles thing was a couple years ago. It's definitely not recent, but, you know, it's cute. Um, some of these comments are kind of hard to follow along because... Recommend a perfume or fragrance for us to get during the sale. The thing is, when it comes to perfume, guys, like there's so much that factors that I factor in when I'm recommending a perfume. It depends on what you like. It depends on the category. I can't just say, go get love, don't be shy. Like that does not work for everybody. So um, I only recommend like what I like. And that's also the reason why when I talk about like my perfume favorites on Lavishly Jackie, I go by category. I don't say like everybody needs this because no, you most certainly don't need that. Like. If your body doesn't mix well with vanillas, I wouldn't recommend that. Do you get what I mean? So, um, yeah, I know about Darcy, but I think Darcy's a little lighter than me. Why do I still support Rihanna? She's hella problematic based on what? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you for liking my new background. I kind of changed it up recently. Um, which rare beauty do you like? I like all of the liquid, the liquid blush flush. Is that what they're called? They're so cute. Okay, how many times are you gonna comment this about Rihanna? I don't know what you're talking about about Rihanna. I really don't. Um, I didn't get I didn't get any hair products this time around because I use a lot of curls. I use a lot of stuff that I can get to the from the drugstore. And from Ulta. Wait, why is why are people saying rest in peace, Fenty? Yes, Rihanna does love Killian Love, don't be shy. I have to, I always for it feels weird saying Rihanna because that's literally how she pronounces her name. But it's not Rihanna, it's Rihanna. That's how she says it anyway. Um 
I don't know. I don't get why people say stuff like that and then don't explain the context. I don't understand that. Like people will be like, why do you support so-and-so? They're problematic. It's like, can you explain why they're problematic first? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody recently did the, went on a whole tirade about how I, I'm friends with the colorist and I had no idea who they were talking about the whole time. I don't, I, why, do, why do people do that? When do people start doing that? Like, they be like, not you supporting the person who stole my gym shorts in the fifth grade. How should I know? I don't know that, that I don't know. How would I know that? Give me a break, please. Um, wait, why is somebody talking about a pineapple exfoliator? Do I like the inky list? I haven't tried them yet, but I've heard a lot of great things. Not there yet. What is my favorite perfume? It depends on the category because I have a lot. Love Don't Be Shy is definitely up there. Princess by Killian is definitely up there. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at these comments. Huh? Oh, these comments took a turn. Um, okay, well, no, because I'm, I'm serious. Like people think that I know everything about everyone and I really don't. I like, I really don't. ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer Thoughts. I haven't tried it yet. What's on my lips? I'm actually wearing Huda's lipsticks, but I don't remember the names of them, but I posted about them before. Stop buying. I'm just reading comments now because I've already cleared. I've already cleared my bag, y'all. That's everything that I got. But somebody was saying, stop buying the You to the People facial oil. I love it, but it's always sold out. Well, girl, I'm not buying it, so we wouldn't have even known if you didn't mention it, girl. Um, okay, we need to stop talking about Rihanna. Like, leave that girl alone. I don't even know what y'all talking about. Um, oh, thank you. Any favorite body care that's at Sephora? So I, yeah, the scrubs is one of my favorites. The scrubs um, from Sol de Janeiro. Their bum bum cream also comes in a scrub. I'm so glad this, they did a scrub with this. And I'm so glad they made that into a candle because that is such a signature iconic scent. Like I feel like that scent is slept on. I really do. Um... What are my favorites? Well, I can't really say what's a favorite if I haven't tried it yet. But I mean, because I bought three, I have to say the Fresh Sugar Lip Wonder Drops. I always have this product. Always. It's that good. It's amazing. Um, have I tried other Korean skincare brands? Yes, I have. I, the bum bum cream is really expensive. What is one product to get from Sephora collection? Um, you know, their complexion stuff is actually pretty good. Like their concealer is pretty good. The, Co the coach collection that they came out with was actually really good. And I did a, a sponsored video using that collection. The brushes were really good. The, oh, the brushes. Okay, the brushes. I'm gonna say the brushes for sure. The shadow formula is actually pretty good. And I do so far like their complexion stuff, the concealers. I hear a lot of great things about their powder too. They have like a pressed, I think it's supposed to be like a mineral powder. And I think they made that to compete with MAC. <laughs> but it's pretty good. I have tried Liss. I'm actually uploading the files right now to my editor. I did a whole um, review on that, on that brand. Um, I didn't buy any eye creams on this trip, but I do like the one from Belief. It's really good. You know what, guys? 
the um new face i bought it 